Hey guys, I'm Matt. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. This is going to be a pretty cool test. What we have here are some AR500 steel body armor plates. These go in a chest rig like this and they are rated, they're level 3, so they're rated to stop up to 308 rifle cartridges, mul multiple hits from those. Um, and in our test in the past, they did everything they were supposed to do. We shot multiple 308s at them and barely dented the plates. Obviously nothing was even close to coming through until we broke out the 308 penetrator rounds. These are AP armor penetrator rounds and sliced through it pretty easily. Then we got the 50 BMG out of this Barrett. This is just a regular full metal jacket round and it broke through it as well. So the fine Americans over at AR500Armor.com wanted to take this test a step further. They sent us four plates. So we have four of them here spaced by six inches each and we are going to shoot the 308 AP round, the 50 BMG FMJ round, and then we also have a 50 BMG AP round. So I want you guys to uh, place your comments, I mean place your bets in the comments below. Let me know how many plates you think these rounds will go through, all three of them. Tell me which one will penetrate how many plates and uh, we'll see if you're right. Go ahead, pause the video right now, comment below. I'm going to back up, we're going to do some shooting. All right, everyone should have placed their bets. Let's see what happens. This is 308 Armor Penetrator. Looks like the stand's intact. Let's go check it out. Well, it went in right around here somewhere. Um, this coating does a pretty good job of hiding uh, where that bullet went in. Oh, maybe that's a little hole. Not sure, but you can see where it came out, went straight through. There's metal from that steel right there. And then it came and hit right here. And looks like, so I'm not really aiming the camera very well. This looks like the bullet here sticking out of this plate. Let me pull this out and look at it. All right, after like 20 minutes of digging through this rubber, this is the first one, this is the second one. So the first one's kind of cool. I just peel this off. That actually, that little bitty hole, I don't know if y'all can see that, is where it went through and you can see it's pretty small. It is not the size of a 30 caliber bullet because it caught all the jacket. All these little pieces are a copper jacket. You can actually see some right there embedded into this plastic. It's pretty cool. So it caught all the copper jacket and just the penetrator round went through there. And here is the back. I peeled off the uh, rubber around that as well and you can see where it came through right there. Pretty cool. Here is number two and I dug out all of these little chunks and get them out of the sun so you can kind of see them. I think this is it, but this is all the uh, actual penetrator part of that bullet. You can see them better on that. And it just shattered it. Pretty crazy. I did not expect that at all. Um, but it's all shattered. And uh, just pretty much barely dented and scratched that metal down there. I don't know how well y'all be able to see all this. I really don't know what all this silver is. I don't know if it's a piece of the AR-500 plate. Maybe it shot it out and kind of powdered it. Or if that's pieces of the actual penetrator part of that bullet. But there's the back. No hole. I cannot feel any rise. So I didn't even bend it. Pretty tough stuff. That 308 was on the left side of the plate. I'm going to shoot a 50 on the right side. And I'm going to go ahead and shoot the 50 AP round. Um, just because the uh, stand is already coming apart. So I'm kind of worried about when I hit it with a 50 uh, full metal jacket, if it'll just kind of destroy my, my stand and then we won't be able to shoot the AP round. So it's like this thing was built by a veterinarian or something. Shooting a 50 BMG prone, not the most fun thing in the world because you kind of get showered in dirt. Kind of look like those cinder blocks might have been putting a little dust off. Let's go check it out. <laughs> this is awesome. Already I can see that my stand didn't hold up. That used to be there. This board is broken. All right. It's kind of cool how this stuff shrinks around here. Hope y'all can see this. The contrast is kind of funny, but little bitty hole there. I mean, it is like smaller than a pencil lead and that 50 BMG bullet went through there. So, went through, came out right here, went into this one here, 
came out right here and then looks like it went all over the place on this one. I'll pull all these out and look. Did not go through the third plate. First plate, entry hole, exit hole, pretty big on that back side. And again, this one has the silver powder all around the second plate um, where it hit. This is second plate, entry hole, exit hole, and third plate. You can see one little piece of metal way up here. The bullet was coming through at this angle, but it was obviously splattering a lot down there. This is the first one. Went through there. There's your exit hole. You can see the difference between the 308 and the 50. Pretty big difference there. Number two. Um, not really much to see here. It, uh, it basically looks like it might have started flipping because it's kind of oblong hole. Whereas this one's a little more round. And it's kind of interesting to note that this one really is pushed out far. I'm not sure how well it's going to come across on camera, but really is coming out of that plate. Um, and this one's pretty flush. Kind of interesting. The third one, I didn't cut it up because I cut up my hand and my hand's like getting raw from using this knife. This, this coating on here is really tough, but kind of interesting. This is just some of the copper jacket. It was stuck in here and it actually melted into this. It was so hot and that's what I was seeing, that smoke down there where I thought it was cinder block dust. It was actually just smoke from all these hot pieces of metal in here burning this rubber. Um, but that's where that one was. This is raised up right here. I don't know if y'all be able to see that, but I assume there's a little hole here. I assume a piece went in there and then cooked it a little bit and raised it up. There's a piece I tried to dig out for a while and man, it's just stuck, stuck so deep in there. I decided to not go for it, but all these little holes have pieces of metal in them right here. There's a little piece of metal and all down under here, there's a piece there, there's a piece there. Hard to see on camera, I know, but take more word for it because I'm tired of digging into this. I'm going to try something else now. I know a lot of people are going to want to see this. What happens when the plates are butted right up next to each other? On this front one, I'm going to put the non-strike face forward because all this metal that's coming out is going to separate them if I turn it around the way it's supposed to go like this. So that's why this is backwards. So normally when getting hit, not that you'd ever be getting shot with a 50 BMG AP round when you're wearing one of these plates, but normally um, it would have all that extra coating. It has a lot thicker coating on the strike face. But we're going to shoot them like this. All right, here's all four plates hooked together. Dude, seriously, did a monkey build this thing? 308 AP round. I'm going to go high on the target for this one. Killed the plate. Here's that hit right there. Actually knocked off the coating because um, this is the thin side. Kind of cool. And uh, obviously penetrated the first one and stopped. It didn't even go through much of the coating on the second one really. There's pieces of metal still stuck there so it uh, definitely dented it a whole lot less than um, the one where they were spaced. Definitely didn't go through so. Um, looks like it slowed down a little bit. Let's try the 50 BMG AP round right down here. That one definitely killed the plate. There are chunks of bullet and they're still warm all over this table. All these little bullet fragments. Very cool. That's some brittle stuff, I guess. First plate, obviously, complete pass through. Pretty neat. It's actually hot, too. What's going on here? Wow, this is cool. So, this is the second plate. That's the bullet still in there. That's the bullet peeking through the other side. You can see this, so it came in this way. You can see where it stopped here, even splattered out this way a little bit. Crazy. And I hope you guys can see this on here, where the AR-500 steel stops and the metal from the bullet starts. 
Really cool. It's just in there plugging that hole. And the third plate. Cool. That is crazy. Actually dented it out a little bit, but it looks like it sort of uh, bonded with the... You can see two different metals right there. and look like they're kind of bonded together. Huh. That didn't really do what I thought it was going to do. It made a lot more damage than this one, which was more spread out. The plates were more spread out, allowing the fragments to spread out and kind of direct their force over a bigger area. Whereas this one hit in one spot and really bent this plate. I'm not sure if you guys be able to see it, but that's got a really good bend to it now. Cool, very crazy. There you go, 308 AP rounds will pass through one plate and stop on the second. The 50 BMG AP rounds will pass through two and stop on the third. Um, we didn't get around to shooting the FMJ 50s today, but I know for a fact they'll go through one and stop on the second. If you want to see how I know, go check out this video of us shooting an FMJ at a single plate and it stopped right on the other side of it. If you guys haven't looked into steel, AR-500 steel armor plates um, as body armor, you really should because it's a very super affordable way to get some ridiculously strong body armor. I mean, level three, it will stop at 308. So pretty cool stuff. This stuff is all from AR-500armor.com. They were nice enough to send these plates to me. And uh, you should go check them out because they have some of the best prices for this stuff on the internet and uh, really some high quality, high quality products. Um, if uh, you guys did not understand my veterinary reference earlier, I actually am a veterinarian. I have a veterinary YouTube channel. I'll put a link to it right here. If uh, you guys want to follow me, the best place is on Facebook at facebook.com slash demolition ranch right here. If you guys want to help support the channel because these, uh, these 50 BMG armor piercing rounds are not very cheap, the best way to support us is to buy a t-shirt. Link in the description below. We sincerely appreciate the support and all the, uh, all the funds go to the furthering of redneck science. So thanks for watching our videos. We'll see you next time on Demolition Ranch. Make sure to leave comments below on what you'd like to see us do next. See you then.